everyone. My name is Wesley Hughes, and about two years ago, Good Shepherd Lutheran Church invited Scott Rigsby to come speak. And at the time, I didn't know who that was or what it was all about until a couple weeks prior. And I heard that he was some double amputee that completed an Ironman competition. I had no clue what an Ironman was or anything before he came. And that Sunday when he came and spoke at church, I was extremely impressed by his character and the way he held himself up. And not only that, but when he gave his story, I felt very connected to him. And since I'm an amputee as well, it was really cool to get to see and hear another amputee's story. Not that I hadn't seen any other amputees before, but with Scott Rigsby there's something different. Um, he went from being someone who was basically the doctor's patient for many years to being someone that inspired others and made something of his life. And I didn't really realize it so much then until I read his book, The Unthinkable, which is now out, and I read it recently. In his book, he talks about his whole life experience. It's a great book. It talks about his whole life leading up to the accident that he had, and all the way up through his first Ironman uh, competitions, half Ironmans, and then eventually the Ironman World Championships in Kona, Hawaii. And I don't know what he's going to talk about when he comes to visit, but I'm sure he will talk about his second Ironman competition win, um, win being that he finished the race, not that he placed first, but he finished. And honestly, that's what it's all about. You give your best, the best you can possibly do. And to finish an Ironman competition, which includes like a two and a half mile swim, a 112 mile bike, and a full marathon at the end of all of that, is an amazing feat. And to do it in under 17 hours, to do it in one day, that's an even greater feat. And he talks about how he does it with the help of God. And I'm so blessed to have met him and to get to talk to him about um, his prosthetics. And he's the person who inspired me to start running, to become more active as an amputee. He's the one that taught me to reach goals that I wouldn't have seen myself reaching had it not been for him and his story. And so I'd just like to... Um, let you all know that you're in for a treat, and I hope you all come to see him. I won't be there. I'll be here in Oregon, but guys, <laughs> it's been a pleasure, and miss you guys. AMP for life. Yeah.